Hey guys, welcome back to Toy Notes with me, Kelsey. Today I'm playing with a really cool scientific-based toy. This one's by Discovery Kids, and this is Triceratops, the excavation kit. So it's gonna come with like a clay brick with Triceratops bones in it, and all the tools needed to excavate it yourself like a real paleontologist. So I thought this one was kind of neat. Um, you also get the opportunity to put the dinosaur together so you kind of see what it go, what the process looks like when you're doing a dig, get to put all the bones together and see the finished product. So this is pretty neat. It's recommended for kids eight and older, although younger kids could play you know with an older sibling with a little adult supervision i think the real enjoyment from this toy will come from that older age group just because there is going to be some time consuming efforts in this and there's a lot of learning on a higher level higher elementary level than um say like kindergarten so without further ado come on in let's dig up our own triceratops so it's time to open our Discovery Kids Triceratops Excavation Kit. All right, so I've got some information about Triceratops, some did you know, and some information about paleontology. And I've got my little clay brick, a little mallet, chisel, and a brush. So let's get started. So usually when I'm working with clay bricks like this, they can get kind of messy, and I find that a cookie sheet actually works better for containing the mess than do like newspapers or something like that. So. What we're just gonna do is get started with kind of digging around and finding our bones. And then the awesome part about this set is that once you've found all of your bones, oop, found one. Once you've found all of the bones, you can use it to create a replica of a Triceratops. So it's not just kind of like a one and done thing. It's, a, it's an ongoing process. So we have some sort of bone right here. It looks like some ribs maybe. Now in the study of paleontology, you'd be super careful to make sure that you didn't break any bones. In fact, sometimes the tools that they use out in the field are really no bigger than what I have here. They just very painstakingly search for these bones and try to preserve everything. Yeah, I think what we've got here is definitely a rib cage. Let me see if I can find the end of the ribs. And there's another kind of bone there. is kind of right in here. So we're going to keep excavating these out so we can get a good idea of where things are laying in our clay bake here. I want to be careful not to break it because it is kind of flexible. I'm going to knock off some of that clay so we can get a better look. I was so fascinated by the study of paleontology when I was a kid that something like this would have been just so cool. I could have spent hours doing something like this. And you see, see the ribs are coming up. And I don't find that this clay is too tough. I mean, metal pieces or working tools might have been nice, but it kind of would defeat, I guess, the study of the paleontology because when you're looking for bones in the real world, they use gentle tools and 
they're very careful. So let's see. I found the top of the ribs and there's another bone here. I'm trying to dig away and see what it connects to. Because I don't really know how many pieces this triceratops is going to come in. I'm just kind of chipping away at the clay. Now the best part about this is you're learning about paleontology and dinosaurs and doing something hands-on, but it's not just a, an afternoon and it's done. This is going to take a little while and then it's going to take a little while to build. And so this is kind of an ongoing project, which is something you can do after school or um, on the weekends when dad's watching football or something. All right, so the end of whatever the structure is is right. looks like ribs and a sternum or a backbone. Now you can use your little mallet to Although I find that just kind of digging around with it is just as effective. Perhaps as we get deeper into the clay, it'll be more necessary. I'm getting a little bit of a hand cramp. Well, for just a short time, we've done a pretty good job. We've got some definite ribs and probably a spinal cord here exposed. And we're well on our way to making our own Triceratops. Well, for now, I've packed away the Discovery Kids Triceratops Dig set. I had a lot of fun with this one. Um, I've played with a couple of toys recently where you kind of had the brick clay brick and you could dig in, find things. I think these are really cool. They're pretty easy to contain the mess. I find a cookie sheet works really well because it kind of contains everything without it being hard to roll up like newspaper or banishing the kids outside. So I highly recommend this one. This one was a lot of fun. It says eight and older. I think eight and older is the only ones that'll really appreciate the education. But I think if you have a younger player playing with an older sibling, this can still apply to them because who doesn't like to go digging for things and looking? So if you had a couple of them, then each kid would be able to dig and get something out of it for themselves. So guys, if you want to be here for more top 2017 toys and some really cool hands-on science-based toys like this one, make sure you hit that subscribe button and check us out at toynotes.com. I am making sure to stay on top of all the projected bestsellers and everything that's going to be on your kids' wish list this year. That way you know all about them before you go shopping and you can get the most bang for your buck out there. So until next time, bye.